Hey, let's talk about weather. Yesterday we saw some stormy seas out there. Check out this photo by Steve uh, Hanlon out uh, towards Shore Acres State Park. That massive crashing wave here with those headlands. Some folks also checking it out here uh, from the, uh, the uh, railings. So really a great photo and just showing the power of those waves with very stormy conditions and gray skies behind. Love it. Thank you, Steve, for sending this in. And again, we'll see those uh, stormy conditions this morning out towards the coast. We saw that high surf advisory until about 8 in the morning. So here's our satellite and our radar. We are seeing scattered showers in nature as we start this morning. There are wet roadways out there and we will continue with showers as we head towards our afternoon today. Also a slight chance for thunderstorms in Portland throughout the afternoon. I think many of those storms will stay out towards the coast and just offshore where they have been the past couple of days here. Uh, but a chance we see an isolated storm working in here or some heavy rain cells uh, for the north portions of the valley and extending out towards the coast and then southwestern Washington. Temperatures now low 50s, upper 40s. We're getting rain showers in and out here of Portland. Wet roads are out there. Here's our future cast. We'll keep those showers going into the afternoon. And they'll be very scattered and spotty in nature, so we could see some heavy rain, whereas a couple miles down the road we get some sun breaks. So we're looking at that type of a pattern for today. Rain picks up going into our evening and after work, too. So if you're out on the town tonight, we could see some soggy conditions. So prepare for it if you'll be out at an event uh, in town or around the valley going into tonight. We see our next storm system working in by tonight into Saturday morning. So again, it's a much colder system. We're looking at some snowfall up towards our mountains, not only for Oregon, but up in Washington, too and even some snow out towards our Cascade Passes. We've got a winter storm warning in place here for the North Central Cascades and South Washington Cascades. One to two feet of snow possible as we finish out the weekend. Here's our snowfall future cast going into into uh, tonight. We'll start to see that snow really picking up here as snow levels say about uh, 4500 feet to 5000 feet. So we'll be tracking our snow conditions going into the uh, mountains at pass level and at the highest tops. We could get maybe a foot or more of snow uh, by Sunday. So something to watch here. Uh, so far, roadways are bare and dry up towards the passes, but government camp by late tonight, overnight into Saturday, we could see a slushy mix or even some light accumulations. So do prepare for winter driving conditions on these roadways and, and pay attention to the forecast if you're going to be driving over these passes as we head into our uh, evening tonight and tomorrow morning. So today, still a bit stormy out towards the coast, upper 50s uh, for our daytime highs, a chance for thunderstorms out there, also gusty winds towards the beaches too. In Portland, upper 50s here, gusty conditions, rain showers that may turn soggy by tonight. Eastern and Central Oregon will see isolated showers and some dusty winds and the gorge too. A bit breezy out there with rain showers. So here's our seven day forecast. Temperatures stay in the 50s. We keep it a bit wet going into the weekend, so it might be a great weekend to stay inside and get some errands done. Uh, but next week, finally some dry time heading into Thursday. That's your forecast. We'll be right back.